Armor Wars' perfect villain setup was lost in an Iron Man 2 deleted scene Karen Gillan addresses Nebula's future and possible transition to the DCU Karen Gillan opened up about her possible transition to the DCU and her thoughts on Nebula's future. Karen Gillan opened up about where she thinks Nebula will be after the end of Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3, and also addressed her future with the MCU. James Gunn's Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy ended in 2023. While some characters, like Chris Pratt's Peter Quill, Star Lord are meant to return, some have found a definite ending. Among them is Karen Gillan's Nebula. At the end of Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3, Drax and Nebula decide to retire from the Guardians and stay on Nowhere with the rescued children. In a new interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Karen Gillan weighed in on Nebula's future on Nowhere. When asked whether Nebula and Drax are going to last in their new parental roles, Gillan replied, Yeah, I'd like to think so. Nebula has got a real sense of purpose now, and it's such a major part of healing. She's been through so much, and now she can finally accept love and show love towards other people. So the last stage of all that healing is helping other people, and that's exactly what she's doing. As for her future with a possible transition to the DCU to play Poison Ivy, the actress isn't forcing it. The fact that Nebula turned into 10 years of work is the greatest thing that's happened to me. So I like to leave things up to the universe a little bit and see what happens, but I would absolutely love to work with James again. He's the best. Gillen also revealed that it was a surprise to find out Star-Lord would return. No, I don't remember seeing that in the script, so either I have a bad memory or it wasn't in there. So it was pretty surprising, but it was cool as well. I was like, okay, what's the plan here? Karen Gillen's post-MCU future is exciting although she will not return as Nebula anytime soon, Gillen has many projects lined up. One of them is The Life of Chuck, an adaptation of Stephen King's novella. The project reunites her with horror helmer Mike Flanagan, with whom she previously worked on 2013's Oculus. Speaking of the life of Chuck, which stars Loki's Tom Hiddleston in the lead role, Gillen revealed to the same outlet that it was magical. Oh my god, it was just magical. She went on to praise the upcoming film, adding, it's one of the more unique scripts that I've ever read in my life. I've just never really seen anything with that structure before. It's a beautiful exploration, but I don't want to give it away. So it was amazing to work with Flanagan again and see how he changed as a filmmaker, but in a lot of ways, he remained exactly the same. I actually got to see a version of the film, and it's just one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. The filming for The Life of Chuck ended in late 2023 and there is no official release date at the time of publishing. However, the film might see a late 2024 or early 2025 release date. Meanwhile, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 is available for streaming on Disney+. If you are new to our channel then like and subscribe.